Hello everyone and welcome to GoStream, welcome to our channel. I will be showing you today how to rent one of our stream, whether it is a stream only or an auto DJ radio and how to put it in your broadcaster in order to make it work in Second Life. I will be using Mix and Virtual DJ broadcasters to show you the steps. Let's get into it. So of course the first thing before renting a stream you need a little bit of money. You need to enter in the store, you need to select um, the help of your choice so you have French. Deutsch and English so you can have help in those three languages and we can help you in the three languages if you need any assistance on our stream. So you can just click them and receive um, a note card that will show you how to rent and how it works and what we offer in the store. It's very easy. You just need to click on the floor. So I will buy my stream now. Let's say I am in a medium club and I need a stream that can cover 50 listeners. So I will be taking the 50 listeners stream and it is here on this tablet. So before I pay the tablet, I need to join the group. Why I need to join the group? Because with the group you have 20% off. For example, you can see that now on the tablet it shows 75 lindens a week. If you join the group, it will be 50 lindens a week, which is much better. And really, it's such a benefit for you that you save some lindens. And also, we would like to encourage people to join the group to target them for upcoming sales and operations. So you just click on the join the group, save 20% off. And you will see in the local chat here um, a link to join our group so you can join it. It's free and there is no spamming, no notices. It is just for the sales and upcoming sales. So you just join the group, you make sure that you are wearing the group tag and then you go pay your tablet. So you only pay the tablet, it's very easy. We don't have rent boxes, um, we don't take a lot of space, it's very clear and easy. So I'm gonna take um, 4 weeks, 50 listeners here, so I'm gonna pay 300. And you will see that I will receive a refund of 60 lindens, which is amazing. And here are my details of the streams. Of my stream, you can see, and I receive also a note card here. So what I do is this. I have my informations on the local chat, and I have a note card to put my informations there. It is written in English and in French. It tells me, copy the information that were given in IM to get your rent information. If you missed it, please click on the tablet and select my info and copy everything below. So I did not miss it. It is here in the local chat. Nobody else can see my informations and I am just about to copy them. So this is my stream. I will write everything here. So my server IP here, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy my port like this. I'm going to copy the password like this. Then I'm going to copy the land URL for Second Life like this. And I'm also going to copy my Centova panel um, login URL. So the URL is to login. If you have any problem, you can at any time restart the server of your stream. So this is very easy. And then I copy my password like this. So everything is copied now. It tells me happy streaming. So I am ready. My stream is ready and already working. I can close the local chat. I save my rental info and it is all here copied. So you need to do these steps. And now it's time to put them inside my broadcaster and check if everything is working well. This is the same for the auto DJ or radio DJ, but we will be doing another tutorial so you can understand how the auto DJ and the radio works in Second Life. For today, we're going to be handling the streams only. So we're going to start with Mix. It's a free mix uh, software and a free broadcaster for everyone. So you can download it if you want to stream music, but we will be doing more tutorials about this. And this is what I'm going to use right now to show you how to put your stream information in a broadcaster and make them work in world in Second Life. So this is my information here and I'm going to copy and paste them into Mix and then after into Virtual DJ. Let's go to Mix. You go to Options. You go to Preferences. You go to the Broadcast here this little logo and here I'm gonna copy everything so I'm gonna go to my note card and I'm gonna start to copy my IP server server IP or IP server 
so I'm just gonna go to my preferences and paste it here in the host in the ID and the montage and then I'm gonna look for my port which is here so I'm gonna copy and paste it into the preferences of mix here and then I'm gonna take the password finally and copy and paste it into mix I will make sure that I am on 320 KBs if you have a bad internet please go to 128 the quality is the same it just consume less bitrate and that's better for you so if you have a bad internet and you know it's gonna cut just take 128 if you have if all is okay for you just take 320 um, KBs our all our streams only are 320 KB maximum so you can choose uh, how much kbps you want to use so i'm gonna go with 128 because i'm alone here um i'm gonna make sure everything is in mp3 and stereo and then i'm gonna apply and my stream is ready i can connect so i go inside mix i drop any song so i'm gonna be using of course a no copyright song um so i just drop my song and just play it let me just activate mix sound I'm not sure, sure I can, I can talk, talk and everything, everything is okay, okay first, first. And, and then I'm, I'm gonna, gonna broadcast, broadcast by, by clicking, clicking this, this logo, logo here, here on, the, on top. the top and I'm broadcasting, I'm broadcasting right, right now, now. It's, it's working, working. So it's working for me, I'm broadcasting and I'm just gonna check if everything is working in Second Life now because you have to copy and paste one last link before you can hear uh, your stream inside Second Life. Let's go. So you're gonna copy and paste the land URL that is inside your note card. This is your second life stream link that you can put anywhere to stream your music. Anywhere you have rights, of course. So you go to world about land and in the sound tab, you just copy and paste your stream here and you click enter. And you check if it's working. Let's see if they can also hear me without any problem. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Welcome with us. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. Welcome with us. All right, this is perfect. So it is working now via Mix, and now I'm gonna be showing you via Virtual DJ. So now we are in Virtual DJ, and Virtual DJ is a little bit more easy to use for the broadcasting. So you just go to the settings here, you go to the broadcast tab, and then you're just gonna copy and paste everything. You select again Shoutcast or Icecast, depending on what stream do you have, and also the um, KBPS, so you can choose up to 300, um, 20 kbps high quality but i'm gonna keep myself into 128 because this is the maximum usually um for this is the minimum that provides you the best quality let's say it this way so i'm just gonna copy everything again i'm gonna go again here and i'm gonna copy my server ip and please don't copy any space make sure to copy the right way this is very important so the url server uh, the URL server in Virtual DJ correspond is the server IP. So then I'm going to copy my port. Here I copy it. And then my password that I copy and then I paste it. Just like I did in Mix. And then I launch the broadcast and it should be working. So the broadcast is launched and it should be working now. So let's put just one song like this, just to make sure everything is working. 
I am online and I am streaming here. I can see broadcasting on this. Driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun, feel the wind in my hair. So I'm just gonna check in world now if it's working. So I'm gonna put again my link in my land and see if everything is working. I'm just gonna mute virtual DJ from the system and put it here and see if it's working. And I also want to see if I'm talking, is it working or not? So let me try. And then we are done. So here to talk in virtual DJ. Hi everyone, welcome with us and hello. And let's see now in world if it's working. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome with us and hello. To my boss that I'm done. Oh, well, it is working perfectly for me, so it should be working for you. I hope you understood this tutorial and that it was easy enough for you. So actually, it's really easy to rent one of our stream and make it work. Um, everything works perfectly. We work very hard on it. And if you need any help, absolutely any help, don't hesitate to contact either me or Ima Asamoa or to contact us via the group so we can support you and assist you in any step for your streams. We would be glad to help you. And just one last thing before I finish, we're going to try to connect into the Centova panel in case you have any problem with your stream. This is very important to be able to log in your Centova panel and restart your stream. So let's go to Centova. I'm going to click this and paste it. So the first thing you want to paste is the first URL. This is your logging URL. And then usually it's your name. It's your username. That is your username. So let me log out. I copy and paste. And then I copy and paste my password here. And I log in. And it's working for me, so I can restart my stream at any time if I have any problem. It takes a couple minutes, and also I can set from here any jingle in, you know. For example, some DJs, when they start their stream, you will see, Hello, DJ, da -na -na. You see, you have that appealing voice, that jingle. So this, you can set it from here, settings, configuration, settings. And you can set it from files and there is introduction and fallback file. So the introduction file is something that is played automatically every time your stream is open and someone is going to listen to you. So this is where you upload your jingle and you can use it. And every time you're going to start your stream, they're going to listen to this. So just make a short one and a very clear one. So this is where you manage this in the Centova. And if you have any problem, if you see that it's cutting, you have an error or anything, please, before contacting us, try to restart the server and it should be working. Normally, it should solve any problem you have. So, yep, that's it. Um, we're going to be going back to GoStream Store and we can finish this video.
All right, this tutorial comes to an end. Um, thank you so much for watching this. We hope that you understood and know now how to rent a stream and make it work in Second Life using GoStream streams. And next time we will be talking about those blue tablets, which are the Auto DJ and Radio tablets. Don't forget to check out our store. And if you have any questions, please let us know. We will give you all the details we can and all the assistance we can. Thank you again and have an awesome streaming.